In my mind, I don't have Parkinson's. There's still so much I want to do. And this disease isn't going to stop me. Oh, Despite 20 years of Parkinson's, I've kept cheerful and positive. And as things have got harder, we've pulled through together, haven't we? Yeah. The physio's got us in her diary as Team Ryan. She's <laughs> We're good together, aren't we? Well. Keep each other going, make each other laugh. And Parkinson's is just the cherry on the top. <laughs> really? Steve was my boss. <laughs> Fell in love with his voice. He had this really chocolatey voice. I, I saw you through through the, the gap between two filing cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, yeah. I know. Steve said to me, I'll take you out for lunch. He took me to Dewsbury Market and bought me a sausage roll. Marion. I should have run then, shouldn't I really? <laughs> to you, Blood hand out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Astra, that's such a mess. Oh. <laughs> and now Steve. <laughs> We've been married 31 years. 32 this year. Well, I meant it. When we got married, I really meant it. We've always sort of joked that better for worse, richer for poorer, sickness and in health. <laughs> but we didn't realise it was a tick list. And we've sort of done them all now, haven't <laughs> <laughs> Me and you, Lois and Jake. Very great family. That was such a day getting you up that hill in that chair. Couldn't have done that without Jake. <laughs> well, I've still got things I want to do. Everything I do want to do. It is with Sue. Steve is the love of my life. And always has been. Always will be. He always will be, yeah. We think it all started when Steve had episodes of really rapid heartbeat. I've been experiencing a few strange feelings in my left arm. So I went to the doctor and she said, there's no doubt in my mind you have Parkinson's. And I came home in tears, it was just awful. You said, this is not going to beat me. Yeah, I didn't. Know. The strength left very quickly. The physicality went, you know, you were not a big, strong bloke anymore. One. Two, three, over you go. For Steve, some of the main symptoms, his mobility is really poor. He gets freezes. He tries to move his legs or he tries to move his arms and nothing happens for a few seconds or it can be up to an hour. He's got problems with eating, drinking, swallowing. He has double vision. It affects breathing sometimes. Your speech, this dystonia that Steve gets in his jaw where he can't really close his mouth properly. We've tried all sorts of treatments, yeah. medications, lots and lots of things over the years. I think the mental side effects are harder than any of the physical ones. Motivation. That's what it's stolen. Motivation. Motivation. There's always technological advances. But somewhere, somewhere, there must be some key to Parkinson's. We've got really high hopes to use these Stroll and Magic Leap 2 headsets tomorrow. I, I can't wait because we know that using cues to get Steve to move, you know, it works. I want him to feel motivated to exercise. I want him to feel that he can help improve his own physicality, 
his own mental well-being. Here in Leeds, we're working on a feasibility study on 30 patients using augmented reality headsets, including Magic Leap 2 and Stroll Digital Therapeutics to find new ways to treat people with Parkinson's. It's been discovered that exercise has huge benefit for people with Parkinson's. That's where technology can really help us out. Stroll have developed an app that has a library of cues and games that are based on traditional physiotherapy techniques. Steve has never used augmented reality before as part of his rehabilitation for his Parkinson's and he's coming in to use it for the first time. We're hoping that by using the technology we can help his walking and we can look towards starting to help his balance. <laughs> One thing at a time, sorry. This is the Magic Leap 2 headset that we've got here to try out with you today. You're walking a little bit shuffly today. So with this headset you'll still be able to see the real world around you and then you should be able to see some lines on the floor. Right, I'm just going to put my headset on. Steve, and then I should be able to see what you can see. Can you see some lines in front of you? Yes. Okay. Right, so if you walk forward, and I want you to try and step in between each line. That's it. You're doing so well. Big steps. That's good. So really lift those feet up over in between the lines. You're picking it up super quick. Let's get a bit of speed up, Steve. You're doing so well. Really lift up those feet. That's it. Oh, you got some good clearance then. Do a couple more. Do you want to have another go? Yeah. yeah. We have another cue that's. Uh, with sort of slightly higher obstacles. Well, give, it a give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Oh, I love your attitude. What we're finding is that people are enjoying these games. They don't see them as a chore. They see it as a fun way of getting up and moving. Just to see it lift your feet. You could see it improving all the time. Yeah. Mm. Well done. Well done. It's brilliant. Technology is fantastic. Isn't it? Yeah. This technology does make me optimistic about the future of Parkinson's rehabilitation and research. I feel like it's giving people another option. <laughs> <You're okay. laughs> Ready? Ready? Two, three, Ready? Lift, lift up, lift up, lift up, head up. Go on. Oh. That's it. Go on. Just lift Keep your head going. up and walk to that. Walk to that chair. Amazing. Go on. Go on. Keep standing tall, Steve. You're doing such a good job. He's cold. She's. That's it. <laughs> oh. That's so good. Well, Steve, you brought your game face today. Didn't you? <laughs> Can you believe you just did that? <laughs> Oh, sweet. <laughs> it really is a magic leap. Oh, it really is. That's really not happened yeah, for tough. genuinely 10 years. You have just had the most amazing experience of your Parkinson's journey so far. Unbelievable result. Never expected that. Well, mister. What we're going to do today, after that fabulous day yesterday? Today, I think we'll drink coffee all day. <laughs> I think we will. Look up. It's a privilege to be able to look after somebody that is the love of your life. And if you can't do it for them, you can't do it for anybody. Do you feel confident using it in, in that house? Definitely. So shall we give it another go? Yeah. Yes, good man. Come this way, Steve. Up over it. Yes. 
Keep it up. Oh, yes. Step over. And again. Big step. Big step. Yes. <laughs> you can stand on me, I don't care. <laughs> well, what about trying it without the headset? Because you might be able to remember how to do it. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Head up. Look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. Keep going. This is fantastic. Keep going. Keep going. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Keep coming. This is amazing. Steve, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Hello. <laughs> oh, good. Make sure you're using the same hand that it's showing you. Yep. Yeah.